it's Friday. Today I have lots of things to be doing. My only like timetabled academic thing is at one and that's a social research methods seminar. So it's currently 10. I think I'm gonna make myself some breakfast. I've just been putting some makeup on and watching The Apprentice. But providing my PCR test is positive, hopefully I will still be going out. Negative, not positive. I'm not just waiting to go clubbing until I have a positive PCR. Poached eggs and waffles for breakfast this morning, accompanied by coffee and The Apprentice. I'm just gonna quickly jump in here and talk to you a little bit about Ana Luisa, who have really kindly sent me some jewellery pieces to talk to you about. If you haven't heard of them yet, Ana Luisa is a fantastic jewellery brand who focus on creating high quality, affordable, sustainable jewellery products. Unfortunately, a lot of brands when in production tend to manufacture using cheaper materials so they can, you know, make a higher profit. So I was a little bit hesitant when Ana Luisa approached me just because of the nature of jewellery. It can be so one way or the other with me. Most people that have worn jewellery know the sleep test. You sleep in the jewellery and see if anything happens and lo and behold no irritation. Ana Luisa's jewellery is so comfortable and enjoyable to wear. I don't need to worry about getting irritated. I don't need to worry about, oh, how long have I been wearing it? Obviously, another key feature that Ana Luisa is primarily known for is its sustainability. All of the products are completely carbon neutral and that goes for the packaging as well. All of the jewellery arrived in a little cardboard box with some little bags inside to keep the products. So there was not an inch of single use plastic in sight, which is what we love to see. It's really hard for any of us as individual people to be a force for good in terms of environmental politics so any little things we can do that support a bigger change are really helpful. By choosing to support environmentally aware businesses who put the climate first you are being a force for that change. If your money is going towards climate conscious companies instead of other companies then these companies are going to realise that actually to get their audience, to get their customer base they need to be doing things that are good for the environment so just making that little switch to a company like Ana Luisa can make such a difference. So we're in the month of March at the moment. We've just had International Women's Day, I think a week ago. We've got Mother's Day coming up. Anna Luisa are well aware of that. So they have a 20% off site-wide sale at the moment. If you follow them on Instagram and also subscribe to their newsletter, you're gonna be able to stay in the loop regarding exclusive sales and make sure to be able to get your hands on the products that you love the most. This necklace is my favorite product that they sent me. It's called the Alexis Sunshine Necklace. Within the few days that I've had it, it's already become one of my wardrobe staples. I've worn it every single day. So the link to the sale is in my description box down below. I cannot recommend the brand as a whole enough. Massive thank you to Ana Luisa for sending them to me. I'm literally just so obsessed with them. I don't have a hairbrush and I literally look like I've just been dragged through a hedge backwards, but we're just gonna have to cope. This is the coffee house in Durham that I've been into before in vlogs but I really love it and the upstairs is really pretty because look at this view I mean that's just pretty nice isn't it and then you can just see over the river as well I had a really lovely seminar it finished a bit early because we just finished everything that we needed to do but my um, seminar leader is just the loveliest man ever and he always just makes them even if we've got a boring topic he makes them so lively and fun I might buy a gym membership because it's been discounted as well and I think it probably is worth it if it's 50 quid for like 10 months or something and then tonight I don't really know what I'm doing Ray is currently without ID so she won't be able to get into a club I'm currently going on an expired passport because the DVLA are ridiculous and the worst company I have ever had the misfortune of dealing with so sometimes clubs let me in and sometimes they don't so a group of us are going to go for cocktails at Turtle Bay because they have like a two for nine pounds deal on at some hours and then we can just come back and chill and I think she wants to watch a horror movie but yeah that's the plan for the rest of the day goal current goal is to not fall asleep because I'm so tired I'm thinking about changing the ridiculously over the top leather trousers maybe to jeans potentially um and the hair is coming down oh my god I feel like I almost rip my hair out every time I take look at that that's probably not healthy. Definitely feeling the jeans a little bit more, so we're gonna go with them. Also, they substituted this. 
and gave me actual oranges when I ordered. Hi vlog! Have you just bought it everywhere? Hi vlog! Um, today I actually don't know if I want my this to be on YouTube. I don't know. I don't know if my I don't want my obnoxious personality to be on your oh, YouTube no, channel. No. But I do geography, although I'm not in my usual get-up, which is of course cargo trousers. She's also wearing a top, just to let you know. Oh, I'm, not sick. I'm not naked in here. Today we're going to be doing a sneaker review of some turtle base. Turtle base shoes. A sneaker review of turtle base. Um, it's just meals while all of our friends stare at us. So well, we'll see you in the next video, guys. Wow, this camera quality is just shit, guys. I'm so sorry. If you can hear me right now, I apologise. So, as you know, Elise is a vegetarian and I recently converted to be pescatarian. Anyway, Elise raped the. What one was that? This is the Trinity Bubbles. Good morning. It's Saturday. It's coming up to 11 p.m. P.m. Coming up to 11 a.m. Took me an age to get out of bed this morning, just because I didn't want to. And in typical northeastern fashion, we have a ravaging storm outside. It's not like cold or thunder or anything. It's literally just wind and so much wind. It may look like a gentle breeze, but I promise you it's not. I've just seen, excuse the kitchen, but I've just seen people walk across there and they were literally like fighting against the wind to move against it. That's quite funny. I'm not feeling very hungry, but I have to eat because my hair is a mess. Not because my hair is a mess. Ray has spent about half an hour convincing me to go and do yoga with her in the gym this morning. And I was like, I don't want to. But I decided I am going to just because it gets me out of bed. And I don't think anyone, I don't think anyone else could have got me out of bed this morning. So congrats to Ray for doing that. I don't know if we're gonna pop to the gym next door. I really hope not, but I'm just hoping that she's not in the mood to do that. I can't believe I'm eating avocado on toast with coffee with oat milk and I'm about to go and do yoga. Past me just would not recognize me now. <laughs> I need orange juice. I'm going to have a standing. I can't even see her. Definitely starting off Sunday the right way. This is coming to £12, so I really can't say no. Ray has made us this amazing lentil and other thing, doll. I don't remember what else you put in it, can't lie. I'm gonna go get spinach though, because I did chop that for a reason. My one part to the meal was chopping the spinach. Hey guys, mm. we're in everything again. Tasty. It's no, you've still show. made us dinner. So I forgot to actually say goodbye um, at the end of Sunday, so I'm here to wrap things up for you now. Basically, after we ate the doll, I essentially had a kind of chill night. I think I did some work on my summer tip and listened to some music, so it was just really nice. Anyway, I do hope you enjoy these Durham vlog moments things. Please let me know if you do or if you don't, if you'd rather I do different things, if there's something I did before that I don't do now, if there's something I'm doing now that I should just completely ditch. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just doing bits and bobs and trying to make them work together. There has been a lack of uploads recently, but that's just because it's been a stressful term. So you'll have to forgive me on that front. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to check out Ana Luisa in the box below. And I hope to see you soon as well. Subscribe!